The company of Dobra Chayovna began after the fall of communism in the Czech Republic when the Society of Tea Devotees was established as a secret society of men who gathered together to celebrate their freedom and independence amongst the teacup. The whole story started in 87 in deep communism. Uh, when we founded with a couple of friends a society of tea lovers, our secret community of smugglers of tea because it was almost impossible to get a real good quality tea in Czechoslovakia. Here you can see the complete offer of communist Czechoslovak teas. Uh, we, we decided to open a tea room in Prague not as a real restaurant or bar, more just a place like a living room of, uh, for our friends. And uh, very, very short time after opening, we realized that there is no good quality tea in the Czech Republic. So we decided to go straight to the roots of tea. And our first trip was to India. It was in uh, 1995. But the trip itself was not a business trip uh, because we went there uh, and we had no money uh, to spend uh, in, uh, for hotels. So uh, our idea was to be as close as possible to the people working on uh, uh, tea, tea gardens. Uh, we wanted to meet tea pluckers and uh, we wanted to see the tea manufacturing and processing rather than uh, establish some business contacts with the big uh, companies there. So it was really a big adventure.
2003, Doverti opened in Burlington, Vermont as our first U.S. model. Um, so this was the first vision and the first plan to bring this idea of the concept of the tea room to America. Um, so Burlington, Vermont was a very um, special place to be chosen for that. Based on its climate um, and young university college students, um, I think this was a wonderful um, place for the tea room to be established for the first time. So Dobra Tea is the American branch, is the American model of Dobra Chayovna. And we still honor their traditions and their menu and their ways of serving and um, honor those same tea room traditions that they also continue to do so in Czech Republic. All of the teas that we offer in our tea room come from one single plant. Whether it's green tea, oolong tea, black tea, they all come from the Camellia sinensis plant. This is the tea plant that is grown in China, in Japan, and in India and Taiwan. It's, it's all one plant. That's when I feel like the the best about working at Dobra is because you're showing people this whole new world, but it all starts back from this plant. And when you can tell someone that, no, this all comes from one plant, and you see their eyes light up, and they're like, no, <laughs> are you serious? So it's part of the continual you know, education of how this plant, Camellia sinensis, travels and, and ends up in your cup. And there are a couple of main categories of tea. There's green tea, white tea, yellow tea, oolong teas, black teas, pores. So in our tea room, preparation is such an important focus for us. The obvious things that go into making a cup of tea are that time and that temperature, um, the right amount of leaves that you're using, picking the proper teapot to infuse with. But also when I'm standing behind the brewing station, I realize that I'm not only making a cup of tea, but I'm presenting Chinese culture in this moment. I am presenting Middle Eastern culture when I'm making the kinds of tea that they make in those lands. It's really important to do that honestly and respectfully because they have these traditions built. We want to really uphold those here in our tea room. A big part of the value of Dober tea is to be able to be served these teas with so much knowledge of the culture that they come from, so much knowledge of the proper preparation, the proper way of serving, steeping these teas, so that you're really getting the full experience. Not only are you getting this really legitimate tea, 
but you're also getting a legitimate true to form presentation of the tea and then you're connected even more with the place and the culture that this tea comes from which to me is part of the experience. The Dover Tea Room is a really unique place. And it's unique because it's a Bohemian style tea house. And Bohemia is a region in the Czech Republic where many cultures intersect. So we're serving tea from all different places in the world, from Japan, from China, from South America, from Eastern Europe. And because of all that diversity, many different kinds of people are drawn to our tea house. So we have people who come from all different cultures and also people of different ages, children, grandparents, people from all walks of life. It has an inherent warmth to it. You know, when I go to other coffee shops around town or tea places, I, I just don't feel at home. I don't feel at home. When I come to Dover, I feel at home. I feel like I can just be myself. I can, I could read alone or I could bring a group of 10 people and be completely happy and comfortable either way. When you come to Dobra, the space is very comfortable. It's, the ambience is fantastic, the music. So it's very inviting. You want to sit here a while, and half the time people sit here longer than we uh, actually work here at Shift. So uh, Dobra is just about enjoying life, just uh, slowing down and uh, communicating, getting to know the people around you, leaving your world and entering someone else's. I feel it's one of the most important things that this tea room offers. And perhaps the most exciting thing is um, introducing someone new to tea for the first time and when you, you bring them to this tea shop and you, you show them there's a whole new world of culture, relaxation, like, it's just so aesthetic and beautiful mm -hmm. to just have tea. Right. And it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's wonderful. At Dober, we try to give everyone a taste of the, the world culture of Moroccan tea rooms, of Chinese tea rooms. And we try to not just give it to you in the pot, but to give it to you in the whole experience. So that as soon as you enter that door, it's like you stepped into, you're not sure, maybe it's a Chinese tea room, maybe, maybe it's a Turkish tea house. And it's an exploration. It's a, it's a voyage of discovery. Even our menu is a voyage of discovery. People have commented on that a lot. Because all these factors that we carefully align in the tea room can help to make it an adventure in the same way that the tea room was founded in 
adventures, traveling and exploring cultures that the perhaps even the language is not shared. So it's an experience. Tea travels amongst our company is a really important time for us to come together and celebrate what we do and what we love on a daily basis and actually go to the root of the source and experience that. Um, it's really important to bring that taste and that experience back to Dover Tea and have the exact experience at the table. When I first started working for Dobra, and I know that people had gone on tea trips uh, prior, and I was really anxious and eager to go on a tea trip myself because you get to see people, the culture, uh, the climate, and the production of the tea, essentially. And so with that knowledge and that foundation of seeing the people and the culture, how the tea's processed, I can be a better service to the people. They'll appreciate tea more. I appreciate it when they appreciate it. It's a giving and receiving kind of a relationship. Nowadays, everyone's into the local, local food, local um, businesses and stuff, and tea, it can't really be that way for us in New England at least. Um, so what's important about the local thing is, is making that connection with the people. We love tea so the next best thing is making that connection with the people on the other side of the world. Like bridge that gap, close it up. And so when you meet that tea farmer there's nothing like it and you have that connection with the tea and then you can come back and serve that tea to a customer and like whether it's showing the pictures or just talking about it that like you have that connection. Um, it makes it so much more valuable, the, the tea that you're serving. And I think that if you really have a passion for tea, like, you're gonna wanna make that connection. You wanna see who makes that tea, you wanna see who drinks that tea, you wanna see how they do it. Um, and that's what it's all about. It's hard to even describe the feeling when you are in a tea garden and you're holding the fresh leaf in your hand and it's vital, and it's alive, and you can eat it. And it's, a, it's an amazing experience because the whole time at, at Dobra, you're preparing really the end product of this, and you're preparing it after it's been processed and sorted and dried, and, and then you, you give it life again when you put the, the water on the leaves, but it's not the same when you, when you pick it from the fresh plant and it, it gives you the perspective of, of the beginning. And you can't understand the end unless you have some idea of the beginning. I knew these people because I feel like I'm in their family, kind of. Like, a lot of these people love animals and love science and love tea. And it's really awesome to just be here and be like, 
and be like they are. You know, we are we are a family. It's working as a team. Like, you know, I got dishes, I'm doing mixed drinks, I'm doing this, you got floor. Hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that? So we're all here for the collaborative effort. You know, no one's in on an island doing their own little job. We're here to connect with each other and we all are part of what it is. Like we all make up this tea house. Dobra Chayovna and Dobra Tea as a company are, I don't know, it's such a unique company because, you know, there are 25, close to 30 Dobras across the world, but it doesn't feel like a franchise. It's still, you know, each tea room is unique. You know, the space is always different and like all the tea rooms have like a certain connection that you really feel like they're, they're linked and not just because some of the tea wear is the same, it's because they all feel like a family. Welcome to the tea room. So one of the things that's so unique about Dobra is that the tea room itself is actually handcrafted. It's crafted by Czech carpenters and as an owner you have an opportunity to work with them from the very beginning on your space, on the design and on the layout and then the Czech craftsman will actually build that tea room in the Czech Republic, put it in a shipping container, ship it to your site and then the craftsmen themselves will come to your site and they will build that tea room right on your location and you'll watch this beautiful tea room rise up and be built that makes it both unique but also connected to all of the other tea rooms. It's really nice to be part of the tea family, to work for them, to come over to US and put all the things together what we built in in Czech with my father and it took two weeks to put it together till we finish and that's the satisfaction for me when the people come and say it's beautiful. In reflection of, of Dobra Chayovna, we often look back to the men who started this vision. And I often, I often reflect and I can envision them sitting, you know, under communism and drinking tea and manifesting and creating what now we are stepping into as a, yeah, a global portal that we all co go through and then who knows how long we stay. Maybe we stay for a year, maybe five years, maybe 35 years. But it is part of this community that you feel so deeply when you have worked here. And I've, I've felt that when I went to Czech Republic and with every Dobra Chayovna that I have visited, you feel that sense of community that is beyond language. We want to connect the world through tea. That's it.
Yeah. 